What is a moving bed biofilm reactor? Called MBBR for short, it's a highly effective fixed film wastewater treatment process where microorganisms attach to the protected surface area of thousands of plastic pieces called biocarriers or media, forming multiple layers of biofilms. Biocarriers are essentially neutral in density. A diffused aeration system mixes the suspended biocarriers evenly throughout the reactor, providing the oxygen needed for BOD removal and nitrification. Headworks Bio designed active cell media to have the greatest amount of contact with the liquid in the reactor while providing the maximum surface area for biofilm growth. These biocarriers are guaranteed to last five years, with most installations lasting as much as 20 years in harsh environments without degrading. MBBR technology can be integrated into an activated sludge process to create an integrated fixed film activated sludge or IFAS process. This allows dramatic gains in volumetric productivity without increasing levels of mixed liquor suspended solids. Both MBBR and IFAS processes provide BOD and or COD reduction, nitrification and denitrification, all within a limited amount of space. At Headworks Bio, our team's expertise is built on a foundation of over 15 years of research and development efforts, pilot plant studies, and data from MBBR plants currently in operation. Our experience and knowledge ensure each design is custom fit for your application. With the MBBR process, operators can maximize treatment capacity while minimizing their footprint. An MBBR system is a fraction of the size of a conventional system and can be built without the need for a return activated sludge stream, allowing for a single pass process. Additionally, the Headworks Bio MBBR biofilm process is self-regulating, automatically responding to fluctuating organic loads without the need for operational adjustments. Headworks will work with your consultant to customize your MBBR system, configuring your new plant for the applications your discharge permit requires. Full treatment of municipal wastewater, industrial wastewater, or treating wastewater for reuse. Also, standalone pretreatment or post-treatment reactors can be used with existing systems. Let's walk through an example of the MBBR process designed for total nitrogen removal. To begin the MBBR process, influent from the headworks passes through a fine screen and enters the treatment system. Free-flowing biocarriers are distributed throughout individual reactors and effluent screens act as sieves to keep the biocarriers within each specific reactor. A mechanically mixed anoxic reactor combines the influent stream with a recycle stream from the nitrification reactor. At this point, nitrogen is released into the atmosphere in a process called denitrification. The next reactor is for BOD and or COD reduction and requires approximately two to three hours HRT. The high level of carbon food source in the influent stream maintains a rich concentration of heterotrophic bacteria living on the biofilm, which is required for BOD reduction. In the third reactor, the influent has low levels of BOD, limiting the growth of heterotrophic bacteria and contains high levels of ammonia supporting the growth of autotrophic bacteria on the biofilm required for nitrification. The nitrification process oxidizes ammonia to nitrates and nitrites in order to meet the required discharge levels. After the MBBR process is complete, clarification removes suspended solids from the treated wastewater. At this point, the effluent is ready for any optional tertiary treatment. The Headworks Bio MBBR aeration and mixing processes produce a continuous sloughing rate which maintains a more active biofilm. Treatment capacity can easily be expanded by increasing the fill fraction of the biocarriers within the reactor as much as 70% by volume. At equal levels of BOD removal, Headworks Bio's MBBR provides up to five times the biofilm surface area of a trickling filter using less than a quarter of the reactor volume. When compared to an activated sludge extended air process, MBBR saves time as well as tank space. Whereas activated sludge is designed for 12 to 24 hours of hydraulic retention time, MBBR needs only 2 to 3 hours to achieve the same level of nitrification using a quarter or less of the tank volume.
HeadWorks Bio has designed and implemented MBBR installations for municipal and industrial applications for 15 years, including resorts, cruise ships, food processors, power plants, and petrochemical plants. If you're building a new treatment plant, HeadWorks Bio can provide an MBBR solution to meet your capacity and treatment requirements. The Integrated Fixed Film Activated Sludge Process, or IFAS, can be designed for new treatment plant construction, but is typically installed as a retrofit solution for municipal wastewater plants with conventional activated sludge systems at or beyond treatment capacity. It can also convert a non-nitrifying plant to full nitrification or even total nitrogen removal. Let's take a look at an IFAS retrofit. In a typical retrofit, new separation walls are added to the existing basins to create process-specific bioreactors to achieve new discharge requirements. In the nitrification reactor, biocarriers, a stainless steel coarse or medium bubble aeration grid, and retention sieves are installed. After a brief media wetting period, biofilm develops on the biocarriers to support the autotrophic bacteria population required for the nitrification oxidation process. The biofilm, protected by the external surfaces of the biocarriers, contributes to the productivity of the mixed liquor suspended solids growth already in the basin. HeadWorks Bio can design an IFAS process that will, at minimum, double the treatment capacity of an existing activated sludge plant within the same footprint while maintaining existing MLSS design levels. IFAS combines the best of two processes, activated sludge and fixed film. The fixed film process oxidizes ammonium compounds while the activated sludge process manages the BOD removal. Alternatively, the reactors can be configured to have BOD removal and nitrification in both fixed film and the suspended growth phases. IFAS is self-maintaining and operates exactly like an activated sludge process but is more forgiving for RAS and WAS operation. Typically, after an IFAS upgrade, plants avoid operational challenges or biological washout, saving time and money. If your wastewater flow rate or discharge permit levels change, the IFAS process can be modified to meet new demands, minimizing capital investment or process adjustments. HeadWorks Bio will partner with your consultant to design an IFAS process that is compatible with plug flow and complete mix configurations and can be combined with fine bubble aeration systems in non-media reactors. HeadWorks Bio takes full advantage of existing systems, equipment, operator skills, and knowledge to develop a sustainable process that meets current and future nutrient removal requirements within your existing footprint.